Your question, your question about you know uh, the the budget of risk involved in opening up schools, which I actually referred to earlier on, we, we do accept, I think, Jenny, that, that of course there will be a, a risk of increased uh, transmission. That's inevitable uh, if you open up uh, schools for millions of kids across the, uh, the country. That is going to, uh, to happen. But we think uh, that we can do it now in the way that we are uh, because we have the proportion of the population vaccinated that I that I described, the groups one to four, uh, now having had the, uh, the immunity uh, bedded in uh, after at least three weeks, and we think it is, it is prudent uh, to be able to do so. But as I said to, uh, earlier on, uh, we will continue to be driven uh, by uh, data and not dates. And uh, as we approach uh, the next steps, April the 12th, May the 17th, uh, June the 21st, we'll, we will continue to ass assess where we've where we've got to. The data on the vaccinations and the, the impact that they're having is, is very encouraging, but we have to remain very, very cautious. Anything you want to add on that, Jenny? Um, well, exactly as the Prime Minister said, we do expect there to be uh, an impact on our, and I think um, people will probably have, have seen some of the sage comments on that, but clearly education is of critical public health importance, uh, just uh, as much as uh, COVID is. Um, and so what we do know is, or at least we can't disentangle the social interaction element uh, of that rise in R. So it's just as likely it's people meeting at school gates uh, or the different numbers of social interactions as much as it is in schools. So I think the critical point is there are new interventions. So the testing for schools uh, is in place. Uh, starting from now and gradually for, for some senior pupils going forward, uh, what that's likely to do is diminish the number of uh, community transmission cases which could come into schools, so schools will be inherently safer places, but equally it will reach back into families. Uh, so although I suspect we may see a, a rise at the start, with luck as we go forward and people get used to using that testing, whole families will be protected as well. Um, and the whole issue about vaccination, of course, is we have now protected uh, the most vulnerable individuals as we come down the age groups and into those with underlying health conditions. Uh, and so the impact on our hospitals going forward is likely to be significantly less.